Alright, it's been a long time since my last video, but uh, this is going to be an update on what's going on with the Bessemer. This is, uh, I don't know what you call it, I call it an oil catch disc, or an oil slinger disc. But uh, basically this mounts on the crankshaft of the Bessemer. Two screws right here, through these, this hole here, which is partially blocked in this hole. It's held it under the uh, connecting rod throw, and there's a little hole right there that uh, lets oil travel through the disc, through the uh, connecting, through the uh, crankshaft to the uh, connecting rod bearing to lubricate it. This spins with the crankshaft, of course, and um, in the block there's a small tube that uh, passes through the wall, and uh, really it just it just pretty much drips in, right into this little trough here. So when the engine's running and the drip boiler's going oil is just dripping right into this trough as it's spinning and you know it just from centrifugal force just migrates through this little hole to the connecting rod bearing but uh, you can see just from sitting for so long just rusted away completely it's in really rough shape overall so I'm gonna make a new one I'm not gonna try to repair this one even bother with it the metals just not even <laughs> well you have to cut so much out of it to get to, some, to get to good metal and then have to weld that or braze that rusty stuff that's all pitted. Not worth the effort. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new one from scratch. I got some 16 gauge sheet metal here and I've cut out the back disc right here and the top lip I've cut out and then I've cut a piece of uh, another, another piece uh, for the side wall there about the same height so what I'm going to do now is uh, weld this side piece on kind of bend it and form it around this backing disc as I weld it uh, this piece isn't long enough I'm going to have to add another little piece to make up the gap uh, it's not quite long enough to go around the circumference and then weld this one right on top of it like that so that's gonna make up my uh, my new disc here now uh, I never really uh, done a lot of sheet metal welding before or thin stuff this is 16 gauge as I mentioned but I've welded plenty of thicker stuff but I have done a little bit of uh, you know light duty welding so I'm gonna give that a try and see how it comes out um, I think what I'm going to do is I did some practice uh, practice welds on a piece of uh, you know, piece of leftover metal there, and they are going to warp a lot. You can see how much the piece is warped from the heat. So what I think I'm going to try is I'm going to get a a, uh, a towel. Um, I'm going to wet it, dampen it, and then I'm going to do the welding. I'm going to place everything on the towel that's wet and weld it while it's on there just to try to dissipate some of the heat so this doesn't warp so badly. So, I'll give you a shot uh, of my progress when I'm about halfway done. Alright, well, I got the, uh, the uh, rim welded on there. It came out alright. I decided to uh, cancel that plan with the wet towel to dissipate the heat. Then it worked out pretty well just tacking it around the outside and then filling in, you know, an inch, an inch and a half of weld here and there around it. Didn't warp. That's good. Here's the original again. Pretty close uh, size wise. Had to move uh, inside because it's starting to rain out. But it looks all right. Didn't burn through anywhere. There's a little section I had to weld in right there. So that came out good. So now the next step is to uh, take the ring and weld that on. that on like that to duplicate it. 
gonna clean, I'm gonna clean these welds up in here first. Just buff them down a little bit. Try to get the high spots out. Alrighty. Alrighty. Well, here it is, brand new. All done. Should be a pretty suitable replacement. The only thing I need to do now is transfer the two mounting holes and the uh, the uh, oil transfer hole, which that shouldn't be very hard to do. I can just take measurements, transfer them right over. The only thing I, you know, looking back that I should have done differently was probably should have drilled this hole first and then welded up to and from it because um, now I'm just going to have to I'll drill through this metal but then I'll the uh, sheet metal but then I'll hit that weld and that weld will be a little bit difficult to drill but uh, I might be able to just grind that out grind the hole through so but that's it another uh, another piece to the Bessemer uh, engine done so this means that once I get my bearings finished which uh, should be sometime this week or next weekend. I'll, I'll get them made or I'll make them. I can uh, start uh, reassembly of the lower end because uh, the piston's already in the bore over here. Connecting rod attached. So that's done. Pretty much uh, once I get the bearings done, I can uh, reassemble the lower end. Then I can start with the little uh, intricate stuff, like the uh, governor and the fuel system, things like that. Well, thanks for watching.